I know what you're thinking. That's you're right. He looks like a pretty smart guy. I've been known to do some pretty dumb stuff. So anything you see me do in my videos, or I may tell you or tell you not to do, take it with a grain of salt. Use this as your disclaimer. I'm just a random guy working on cars. I have no idea what I'm doing half the time. So enjoy the show. Hey, welcome back to Farming Cars. And today we're going to be working on the green machine once again. Um, we're going to go ahead and get that driver's rocker panel squared away and hopefully get a cab corner in it and get the cab mostly squared away. Um, we'll see how it goes. So I bought this cab patch kit on eBay uh, mainly because when I was just going to buy just the pieces for the left side of the cab, a couple of these supports here were on back order. And, well, I'm impatient, and it was only like an extra $30. For the whole kit versus buying the pieces I needed and now I've got enough to do both sides someday eventually maybe all right so first things first I grabbed the pieces out of the kit here um, obviously we'll have to cut some of what's left of this out of here so this stuff all fits and I've never done this before so just have to use the other side for reference Obviously, I'm going to sit up in here. Oh, yeah. All right, well, this will be fun. Underneath here, this front cam out. Obviously, a little weak, but it bolts in so in order to put the new one in uh the ones in the kit are slipovers so we'll probably clean a little bit of this old i guess it's undercoating or something off of here i don't know what's not it's just kind of chilling there but uh we'll clean some of that up we'll get the cab mount mocked up we'll have to cut some of this into rocker out there's not a whole lot going on back here but there's another cab mount that goes in this area, or floor support, I guess it would be, not a mount. Um, this is part of the rear cab corner. That'll get replaced. So, we'll, uh, yeah, keep going. <laughs>
the rest of what's left of the rocker panel off. But this here probably take care of a few of these spot welts for the CAD corner too. Um, we'll have to get the remnants of the front one out too. Uh, I bought one of these a long time ago. Uh, it's a little spot weld cutter. They work really good. Um, I mean, you can use a regular drill bit to cut them out. This is usually just a little bit quicker. Um, yeah, here we go. You can see, you know, it leaves a little spot where each of the welds were. You just grind those down. We obviously gotta prep that rust a little bit so that way we have something to weld it back to. Not gonna get super worried about, you know, putting pour 15 or something like that on there as I'm just gonna cover it up and like I said, I'm not trying to make this thing pretty. I just wanna do it cheap, have some fun, I guess not too cheap, but I don't know, middle of the road, I guess, something that uh, won't cost a lot of money, but uh, gives a good bang for the buck. down a little bit change the angle the dangle um, it fits in there a lot better gotta do a little cleanup underneath where this flange sits I think we'll get it set up in there pretty nice we'll uh, keep on keeping on there There's some undercoating covering the rest. That's, I think that's what's keeping this from sitting. So we'll try and scrape that out of here as best we can. As you can see, we got the uh, spot welds out. We got the rest of the original rocker panel out of there. There, that kind of, you'll be able to not really see what I'm doing from there. That'll be great. Looks like the door is probably gonna have to come back off to get this on there. We're gonna want the door on when we actually fit it though, so that way we can make sure that this is in the right spot. All right, as you can see, you know, these just slide right over top of the old ones. I had to trim it back a little bit. It was a little too long. Um, and it kind of fits up here. It's a lot better than what it was. Um, I got these two bolts in to hold it in place. The inner kind of sandwich is on up there in the front. I think we're doing pretty good there. Obviously, we'll have to uh, do some fitting to make that fit decent there. Um, that 
rear side on mount will cover all that beautiful beautiful metal up um, I'll have to get some self tappers I can't seem to find mine right now uh, then we can use that to temporarily attach the rear mount and the rocker panel and everything get everything fitted up make sure everything works like it should um, and then it's just uh, drilling some holes spot welding it back on so stay tuned rocker panel kind of where we want it here uh, so I'm just going to use some self tappers to hold it in place and then when we get it ready and where we want it as we take the self tappers out uh, we can weld those holes shut and they'll work like factory spot welds
So you can see what we got going so far. Um, so the inner and outer rocker panels and the underneath floor supports for the cab are all temporarily installed. Um, see you in there here. They're all temporarily installed with sheet metal screws, the old self tappers. So the rocker panel is temporarily in with the self tapping screws there. Actually doesn't fit too bad. Um, I mean this cab was pretty messed up when we started so the fact that they fit at all is pretty impressive. But uh, I mean if you were doing this to yourself at home and you didn't have a welder, you could sheet metal screw them all in like this as a temporary solution. Uh, at least then you could take it over to a friend's house or find a welder that'll zap them in for you. Um, I wouldn't recommend just leaving it this way, but, you know, to each their own. But yeah, we're moving right along. spot welds all in there where the screws used to be so that's on there that inner panel is nice and secure now so I'll come through and I'll clean up this upper edge a little bit up here um, and make it fit in there I'll probably just use some seam sealer to seal that up so nothing gets down in there I mean the the welds will hold it where it needs to be uh, we might fix that little hole later um, another little one up in the front there. They're not that bad, but we'll see. I mean, if you're trying to make it really nice, obviously you would, but uh, we're just kind of going for a driver quality here. So here we go. We'll keep going. You can see went through and I just used the self tapping screw but drilled all the whole holes here and we'll come back through with the welder and we'll zap those all in.
front of the cab corner here. This guy needs to go somewhere like in there. Um, I'm probably going to trim this down a little bit, save as much of that as we can, even though it's all wrinkly and gross, but I think it'll make it easier. And then if anybody actually wants to make this nice in the future, which I kind of doubt, but uh, they'll have more room to patch their panel. So I'm going to get the cutoff wheel out so I can try and clean that up a little bit. We'll probably put our seam just below this body line here. Um, that in the far corner. If I go off the body line, it's going to be really low. So we'll have to trim it so it sits up in there like it should. And we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Here we go.
The rocker panels are all on, welded in. Got the cab corner on, welded in. Doesn't fit too bad. You can see, got to patch this corner of the floor a little bit, but there's no big holes left anymore. Uh, I wanted to show you this. Uh, this is a big wad of seam sealer that I assume is factory GM that sat down in the bottom of the cab corner here. So uh, it doesn't make me feel too bad about having a couple little gaps here and there because we'll go ahead and seal those up. I mean, if the factory can use an inch of sealer, I guess I can too. So that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, I'm pretty happy with where we're at on the truck. It seems to be moving right along. Uh, the next video might be a little while. I'm going to be out of town for a week. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Come on back for the next episode. Thanks a lot. Bye.